Hello everyone! Ang kukunin natin ngayon ay ang Z-score. Ito yung continuation ng previous lesson natin or previous video. Okay, umpisa na natin. Ito yung uh, objectives natin dito sa video. Una ay convert the normal, a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. Pangalawa, yung compute for probabilities and percentiles using the standard normal table. Okay, pisa na natin. Uh, dito, babasahin ko lang the normally distributed random variable under standard normal distribution is known as standard normal variable. And it is always denoted by letter Z. So, dito gagamit tayo ng Z table para makuha ang area. Pero, bago natin makuha yung area, dapat alam natin yung Z, kung ano yung uh, Z score. Paano kunin yung Z score? Ito yung formula para makuha yung Z score kapag ang pinag-uusapan ay population. So Z score for population and the formula is Z equals the difference between X and mu all over sigma. Dito yung X ay row score or the given measurement. Yung uh, mu Ito yung population mean or yung average. And yung sigma dito ay yung population standard deviation. Again, kapag ang pinag-usapan ay population, ito ang gagamitin natin para makuha yung z-score. Ano kapag ang pinag-usapan ay sample? Ito naman yung gagamitin nating formula. Z equals the difference between x minus x bar on top of it all over s where x is the row score of, or the given measurement, and x with bar on top of it is the sample mean. And yung s sa denominator or the denominator is the sample standard deviation. Okay, gagamitin natin or i-apply natin tong formula. Let's have an example. Sa module, yung example number 1, given the mean or yung mu equals 50, and the standard deviation or sigma equals 5 of a population of statistics and probability scores, find the Z value that corresponds to a score X equals 65. So dito ay yung given, yung mga given dito na values. First, yung row score na 65. So nandito. And yung mean na 50. So mu is equal to 50. And standard deviation of 5. So, ang hanapin natin dito yung Z value that corresponds to 65. So, nandito na yung solution. Mayroon pang interpretation. Pero bago natin kunin to, dapat natin alamin or makita yung itsura nito sa normal curve. Okay. So, paano ba sa, paano bang itsura nito sa normal curve? Let's have the curve. Okay, hindi uh, masyadong uh, perfect yung ano natin, yung curve natin. Uh, so, palitan ko lang para mas magandang tignan. So, madali lang naman tong palitan. Ayan, so ulitin ko lang. So, hindi masyadong perfect pero assume natin ito yung, uh, ano, ito yung uh, normal curve. Then, sa gitna, ito yung uh, uh, mu. So, yung again, yung mu dito equals 50. Yan. Next, yung uh, standard deviation is uh, 5. So, pag, uh, pag move tayo to the right, so, Pag, ito, pag yung nasa gitna ay 50, yung nandito is 55. Kasi plus 5 lang. Okay. So, pag move, mag move tayo ulit ng isa pang ano, uh, step, 55 plus 5 is 60. Yan. Then, another step, 60 plus 5 is 65. So, nandito na yon yung uh, 65 na yung uh, 
uh, x n ito yung uh, x natin di ba x equals 65 next ang ano natin dito is yung uh, kunin yung z value ng x so remember sa normal uh, distribution yung horizontal axis dito is x so, so ibig sabihin ang mga to ay uh, x scores okay now kukunin natin yung corresponding z value ng x is equal 65 so magdo-draw lang ako dito ng line ayan so ito yung horizontal axis dun sa standard normal distribution so pag sinabing standard normal distribution or standard normal curve yung mga scores dito ay z scores so dito sa z score sa z axis rather always zero yung nasa gitna then yung sang step a first step uh, from uh, zero dito sa right side is always one di ba dito is two and dito is three so nakikita natin dito malamang conclusion natin is yung corresponding z value ng x na equals uh, 65 is 3. So, check natin using the uh, formula. So the formula that we are going to use is z equals the difference between the row score and uh, mean. Okay, population mean. All over the standard deviation. Okay, by substitution, yung row score 65. So king 65 na dito. Yung mu o yung mean is 50. Then standard deviation na 5. So ito na yung ano na yung substitution natin. So, so i-simplify lang natin to. So ito pag si-simplify natin, uh, 65 minus 50 equals 15. Then copy the denominator. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. So tama yung conclude yung ano natin kanina, yung say yung conclusion natin or yung guess natin na yung corresponding z value ng x na 65 is 3. So nako natin is 3. Okay. So yun na yun yung hinahanap natin. Pero mayroong interpretation dito. Syempre, dito sa math or statistics, pag uh, mayroong kang nakuha ng uh, value, kailangan mong interpret. Ito yung interpretation. Since the score x equals 65 corresponds to z equals 3, we can say that with respect to the mean, the score of 65 is above average. Above average kasi nandito sa right side. Mas mataas dito. Okay? Kumpara sa uh, mu na 50. Okay, let's move. Example number 3. So, hindi na natin kukunin yung example number 2 kasi similar lang naman sa example number 1. Uh, yes, example number 1. Okay, example number 3. A pretest was given to tourism 11 class with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation 10. If a student's Z score is negative 1, then what is the score of the students before the conversion? Okay, given yung uh, Z na negative 1, then yung mu na 30, and standard deviation na 10. Okay, so find the score X. Kasi nandito, ang hinanap is the score of the students before the conversions. So, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon na ng conversion. Pero ang, ang hinanap natin dito is before yung conversion. Ito yung X. Okay. Uh, we're going to use the formula. So, nandito. Uh, since yung given dito is yung, uh, yung mu, uh, standard division na sigma. So, ibig sabihin, Yung formula na gagamitin natin is uh, z equals um, equals x minus mu over all, all over sigma. Okay, from this uh, formula, to solve natin yung x, eto. So, pag uh, nag-derive natin yung uh, formula for x, makukuha natin to. 
Okay? X equals mu plus sigma times this uh, Z score. Okay, let's have the substitution. Ano yung mu? Yung mu is 30. So, correction. Ito, copy-paste lang sa module. So, ang, ang nakalagay doon is 20. Palitan natin to ng uh, 3 para maging 30. Okay? Then, plus, ano yung sigma natin? 10. ba Standard deviation. And ano yung uh, Z? Negative 1. Okay. Correct. Then, Okay, again dito, palitan natin to ng T. Okay, so 30. So 30 plus, anong nangyari? Negative 10. So minultiply lang to. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Next, simplify lang natin. 30 plus negative 10, of course, 20. So again, palitan natin to ng 2. So 20, X is 20. Now, uh, mayroon dito yung answer. The row score that corresponds to A that is negative 1 is 20. So, hindi to 10. Eh? So, this is 20. Oh, naging ano na siya. 210 na siya. This is 20. Okay, correction. In a population distribution, and yung interpretation natin, eh? ito na rin yung interpretation natin. It is below average. Again, yung average or yung mean dito is 30. Siyempre, yung lumabas na X is 20.